right, guys, thanks for tuning in. MotorcycleCampingTV.com. Today, we are going to take a look at several different items, but in this particular post, it is going to be the Nemo Morpho two-person tent. And yes, this is the bag that it comes in. You can see it there. Uh, pretty nice uh, bag. Now, their website, I know many of you that are looking for this may just want to stream straight over to that. I'll also uh, post it in, in the link and in the, um, the notes there from the video. But the website is www.nemoequipment.com. www.nemoequipment.com. And um, you can see that uh, several things here, some stickers they, they give you. Also, the price, I know the price point that they have on the website is, uh, I believe, $429. Let me double check here. Yeah, the, uh, I'm at NemoEquipment.com, and I'm actually looking at the, the Nemo Morpho two-person tent right here on the iPad, and they're saying that it is $429.95. I know you can find it some other places. You may be able to find it on sale. Uh, they have made some changes over the last couple of years, so you want to make sure and get the, um, the latest edition of, of the tent. And uh, it's also showing from their website that they're out of stock. Now, some other places may have it, REI, a lot of different places that, that may have that. So let's, um, let's pull it out here and take a look at it. I will say this, I do not have it in its own stuff sack, and there is a reason. In this review, you will find out that personally, this is just not big enough. And you can try to roll it, you can try to stuff it, and you can spend 10 minutes even just trying to stuff it back down into this. It does have some compression ties and things, but I gotta tell you, when you're ready to go, if it's hot outside or even if it's cold and you want to pack your tent, now you, you wanna get going. I would advise, if you can, to pick up one of Tour Tech's tent bags. And you can go over to their website, find out more information about that. So there's some great compression and uh, well worth well worth the money in the long run. However, it depends on what your tastes are. I just take this after I've compressed it down and I actually strap it to the top of one of my panniers on, on, on the side. I use the Tour Tech Pros Zega Pros on my V-Strom 1000. You what you can see on this compression sack on one end, it's completely solid. You can't get into it, which is pretty cool for rain and water. So you would want this on the front side if you're going down the road and it's just tied on. <clears throat> and here is the Nemo Morpho two-person tent. This is the back end here. Looking at the top. This is of course the front and the vestibule up here. Let me give you just a few uh, facts about it from their website. And um, let me get over here to specifications. It says uh, minimum weight, five pounds, five ounces. If you're a lot packer, it's not bad. I know there are a lot that uh, are a couple pounds lighter on a motorcycle. To me, I don't really see the difference. Uh, some people would will scrutinize that and, and want to go smaller, whatever is your, whatever's your deal. The packed weight is six pounds and the floor dimensions are 104 by 64 inches. The in interior height is 42 inches. Floor area is 39 square feet. Here's something that is always critical <coughs> depending, excuse me, on how you're packing it, storing it when you're traveling with it is the pack size when everything's packed up. If you're talking about its original compression sack, from their site, Nemo says that the pack size is 14 by 7, 14 inches by 7, relatively small. The tent sh shell fabric is, of course, this is a single wall tent. And there are a lot of interesting things about a single wall tent instead of a double wall tent. The, this particular tent is also not a freestanding tent. It has to be, uh, you have to have a couple 
couple of stakes in the ground on both ends before you pump up the air beams. There's two air beams inside Still, here. Fabric is, but this is a 40, um, it's, a, it's a 40D and it's waterproof and breathable and the fly vestibule area is, it's made of a lighter weight but it's, it's a 30D and and then on the inside, the floor inside is also of a 30D PU nylon. And um, to me, I've been camping now out with this quite a few times. And it seems very, very durable. Very, very durable tent. Now, I've not been out in the rain a lot with it. So I can't really judge from that standpoint. But... Uh, overall, I've been very well pleased with with the uh, Nemo Morpho two-person tent and the air beam technology. I know a lot of people ask, how does that work? Well, on each side, there's a there's a little zipper right here. You pull that out, and there's a there's a nozzle right here, and you take the pump that Nemo sends along with the tent, and you hook it to it, and you can stand right outside and just. Take your foot and it'll bring it right up, bring it right up. Stand strong. I've been out in some pretty tough winds. Haven't seen it even, even budge as far as that goes. Uh, a couple of things I do want to mention in way of the view, review of the tent. There are some vents. I know a lot of times with um, single wall tents, and this is a three season single wall, um, the venting and um, condensation on the inside can be an issue. And I've been out below 30 degrees in this tent. You're saying, well, that's not too much. Well, it can be uh, in a single wall tent, but this tent is really, really warm. And th there's a good vent. You see the vent right here that automatically stands open, but rain can't come in. And then on each side, when you have the tent completely blown up, you can see, see those vents right there. And then from the inside, they make a little uh, post where you can you can stick it and it'll hold that vent up. So you got air flowing from this side to this side and from this side. And then of course, on this end is where your main vestibule is. You have just a huge um, fly area here that you can, you can use however you would like to and stake out. Um, the only things I've noticed in um, where Oh, I, and so I was going to say also on the um, right here, there's also a way you can see these little little arms here, Velcro. There's a way to stand it open and get some ventilation through right here. Now, if it's raining, obviously you couldn't use this. In the rain, you can though use uh, the vent on the end and the vents on the side. So not not a not an issue. But on a single wall tent. I have noticed a little bit of condensation. Now I sleep with my head up here on this end where, where you come in and my feet down here where this big vent's at. And I have a four inch pad, a great pad, I'll review it for you. But um, when I'm lying on the pad, my feet through the sleeping bag will touch the top here. And sometimes I'll notice some con condensation there. Also some condensation up here from where I've been breathing all night can can build up and there can be uh, a, some dampness right here on on this this center piece right here you'll notice it'll usually be damp of a morning you can just unzip it throw it over the tent or whatever so i'm still kind of getting to know the tent but um a lot of money for sure pack small uh, great color and easy to set up time frame i'm going to roll in some footage of me actually setting it up a few months ago when I was camping. So if I think of anything else, I'll let you know, post your notes, go out there and um, let me know what you think. Thanks.